So have you ever tried pulling a T-post and the thing does not want to come out? And you start looking on YouTube and you're like, oh, this method's gonna work. The first method I came to was the two by four method. And the problem I had, if you can see right there, the wood is just too soft, especially at the depth that these are buried. So I tried another method, two by four with a piece of metal. Still didn't work. And then I tried this contraption from Amazon. I couldn't get that to work either. So we resorted to using the bucket and our new hook that we installed. Hey, welcome to the Smith Farm Co-op. I'm Michael. Today we're going to pull a couple uh, T-posts that I had installed for a garden uh, with our new tractor and hook that we just installed. Uh, let's go see if we can uh, pull these a little easier than uh, some of the methods I've seen online with like a 2x4, which I had no luck because I guess my 2x4 was too rotten or my ground is too hard. I don't know. Let's go pull it up with the tractor. So, I got a T-post here and I got a T-post over here. Actually, I got three of them uh, in this area that I need to get done before I fence in the rest of uh, the goat pen area. Picked up this little tool for pulling T-post uh, off of Amazon. And we're gonna use a chain and our new hook that we installed to get this uh, T-post out of the ground real quick. Let's, uh, let's get it going. So we're going to use our chain, the new bucket uh, hook that we installed to get this guy out. Let's see how it works and if the uh, hook holds. So, I thought I was being weak uh, getting this T-post out. Um, not being able to do some of the tricks that you see online with like a 2x4 or anything like that. I was literally picking the back end of the tractor up, trying to get this T-post out of the ground. And it was not budging at all it took me putting it in four-wheel drive and kind of just pulling it with the tractor backwards to get it out so some of the tricks online work great some of them don't so we'll uh give the next t-post a try with one of those little tricks with the two by four and see if uh we can get it to work how about that so some of some of the YouTube tutorials I've seen on removal of these guys can be done with a 2x4. Um, this side is just a plain 2x4. This I just put a little piece of metal on there so that the teeth of this T-post uh, won't dig in so deeply. I'll try it with the regular side. Um, and what they suggest is basically bend this as far as possible to get it underneath a tooth okay so it's there and then they say rock it back and forth well the problem with that I think this is down probably 16 inches it just busts straight through the 2x4 so my other attempt was to put a piece of metal on it to protect it, see if I could get it to work. So it's clipped on. It is not 
budging at all. Maybe loosing in it just a tad, but it's not doing it. So when it comes to T-post removal, if it is past the little angled flares, um, it's probably not gonna come out this method. And you'll have to get something like this from Amazon or a tractor supply store or an agri agricultural store. And basically it goes on there and you lift it up with like a high lift jack. Um, so that is an option. It's not a great option. Um, so I'm going to continue doing it with the tractor bucket. Uh, having tried this for about 45 minutes on about six other posts last week and it did not work at all. So let's uh, go finish these last two with the uh, bucket pool method and our Kubota tractor. Like these videos dealing with repairing and operating uh, a tractor and farm equipment don't forget to hit the like and subscribe in the button it really does help us uh, grow y'all have a wonderful day